Good morning, <clears throat> everyone. Oh, geez, I still have morning, morning cough. Oh, look at that. Is she pushing two kids in that little, little, mm -hmm. uh, there's a mom pushing two kids in a little wagon. Um, anyways, back in the car again. Mama Redman driving again. Shout out to Mama Redman, guys. Already like this video because of Mama Redman, just because <laughs> she's doing everything. Um, day two of the moving process. Today we're starting to do the not so fun work that needs to be done. So first things first, I had a call today. I canceled my gym membership. I had a call and canceled my doctor's. Stay in the right lane. All right, can you just shush? Anyway, called and canceled my doctor's uh, office thing. I don't know what you'd call it. That's not a membership, but I have to get a new doctor. Things like that. And then now we're going to my P.O. box um, that I just had for a little while. I got to grab anything that's in it from you guys and then cancel that. And then I'll get a new one once I'm back home in Ohio. Uh, beyond that, we have a bunch of miscellaneous other things we're trying to get figured out with my car. My car is technically going to be done with its lease. Anyone who's ever leased a car, you know how you have that option at the end of your car lease to purchase it and I've barely used this car so it probably would have some good value but at the same time I kind of like don't know how much I need a car right now and might want to save for a different car I don't know so we got to figure out some stuff like that and then we're gonna start packing up uh, some big things around the house today to get things in order and then I also am going to be editing and things of that sort so it's gonna be a little bit of a busy day but we talked with Tom a lot and Tom's kind of you know figuring out exactly how he wants to go about doing all of his stuff and what he's gonna be doing so in the meantime, we're just kind of trying to get as much work stuff done as possible, as soon as possible, so that we can, um, you know, at least have the option to get on the road as soon as possible, especially with winter coming up. Like, we don't want to be driving across the country in a snowstorm. That would not be fun, so. Which can happen in what, Colorado or Utah. And very well could happen. Very well could happen. So, anyway, not so fun stuff today. That's the update. Oh, we did have tender greens. Oh, uh, we did have tender greens, and I missed it. That's one of the main things I'm going to miss in L.A. If you've ever been to L.A. and you haven't had tender greens, or if you live in L.A., try tender greens, man. It's so bomb. Really going to miss tender greens. It's going to make me sad. Even more than In-N-Out. Uh, tender greens is a little bit better than In-N-Out, in my opinion. But anyway. All right. Off to get some more work done. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. Fast forward a few days. Don't exactly know how this is all going to edit together. Uh, the truth is, as much as I've been wanting to vlog everything that we've been doing and what's been going on, I haven't really been able to because it has been so much work and there's been so much to take care of. And it's Thursday today and we flew here a week ago on Thursday. So it's been one week and we've got so much done. So let me just give you a little bit of update of where we're at with everything. So we got here, immediately started packing stuff. Even from now until tomorrow when we are attempting to leave, everything else will be gone, but we have just some of the, the very last minute things in the living room. And here, you know, Tom's leaving at a different time, so he's still working on his stuff. Um, but like this was part of my room, so we're leaving this bed here when we leave, the landlords wanted it. We're taking all this stuff that we have left um, in my rooms, to the U-Haul that we just picked up, my clothes. But most of my stuff's already packed up, actually. So the only room I haven't done is in here because I've still been streaming and working before um, I wanted to do the move. But as you can see, it's crazy in here right now. But all over here is all the stuff that we already have packed and ready. And then, like I said, we did just get the U-Haul today. So I'm going to be loading this up. Uh, actually, we just finished eating. And Tom, I think, is finishing eating, and then he's going to help us, which is nice. Um, start taking out bulk items that are, like, getting picked up from the garbage company or whoever picks up bulk items. And then it's time to start officially packing up. The remainder of today, that's all I'm doing, is the final pack stuff, saying goodbye to my neighbors, the landlords, handling a few things there. The landscapers are here by chance right now. They always come on Wednesdays when we were here. But kitchen's about done. This is just miscellaneous things we're keeping. There's a ton of booze left. <laughs> I guess we didn't have uh, as many parties as we were planning to this year because we have so much alcohol. So Tom's job is to finish off all the booze before he goes home. Let's just confirm that, right? Tom, you gonna finish all the booze before you go home? Yeah, dude, tonight. Just by yourself? That's the plan. Heck yeah. <laughs> then, Mom, how you doing? You ready to finish strong? I'm trying. Tom, how you feeling? Sad, happy? Dude, I almost cried in the garage, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. Why? 
There was a sad song on, and I was thinking about all our journey and stuff. I thought it was just because the garage like had sentimental I, value. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I still yeah. have to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was tears of agony. Then this is all the other stuff that we've packed up. Is uh, this is all miscellaneous things. I think our landlords are taking this stuff, if I remember correctly, the stuff they wanted. Um, we have like weights and stuff we're still gonna pack up. But we went through, we cleared the shed, cleared the backyard, although the pool didn't have too much stuff we were taking home. Going back to Ohio in November, I don't think I'm gonna need many pool supplies, uh, unfortunately. So that's the game plan for now. Finish packing up and then the road trip back starts, which it's going to be cool to see places, but it's going to be not cool because it's going to be three days in a car, let alone a U-Haul. So that's what's going on. And I'm tired, but we're almost there. So let's power through. getting rid of our old couch we've had that couch you can see it's like sectional so it's not even a full couch but we have to have this couch all the way down here there's four pieces here three over there since Tom and I lived in our old apartment with my brother and John uh, Kenny and Cam oh, I already said my brother but this thing has been like years in the making you can definitely tell so getting rid of that Tom's old mattress some miscellaneous other things and then we just packed the first thing in my U-Haul, or the U-Haul going back with me and my mom to Ohio. Getting some puppy love from favoritist neighbor, Margaret. Say hi, Margaret. Uh, no. <laughs> say, say, say hi, Margaret. And then, two Margarets, bro. Two Margarets. Oh, I don't like my picture. <laughs> uh, so this is the first thing we put in, and it turns out that our my mattress fit perfectly in the back here. So this is gonna be the first thing in of many, but uh, it's officially a start. Well, actually, it's been a week's worth of this stuff. It's the first thing of getting something inside the truck. So, uh, one down, a lot to go. Ain't that right? That's right. And then come back. And come back. Say hi. We're gonna, we're gonna Guys, I don't know if you met Bailey already. This is Bailey. This is this is Bentley's brand new baby sister. And she's adorable. Baby sister. I know. And she I know. loves Brian. I know. I'm going to miss you. I come back and He's see so you. <laughs> is she not He's the cutest thing? Like this back. video already. Because this is, she's the cutest baby ever. She's right? seven weeks. Seven weeks old. All right, little puppy love, now back to work. Start, baby. We uh, couldn't get. You can't see me. I know I'm too dark, guys. I'm sorry. I hope the camera quality in this video is okay. Using this old vlog camera I found. Got a good start going. Uh, we're trying to figure out what we can and can't take. We wanted a bigger truck. I was trying to get like a 15 foot one, but everyone in the world, it feels like, is moving right now, especially out of LA and California for all the reasons I think that I am. And uh, so this is the only truck size we could get. So now we're trying to figure out what exactly we can and can't take. So we're trying to do our best here, prioritize. And but I think so far it's a pretty good fit. I don't know why, this is a little bit uh, pleasing to me. It's giving me a little bit of serotonin, the fact that like the boxes are fitting so nicely. I even have that weird spot back there that's fitting nicely. Gotta find something weird to put up there. Oh, Ma! You could put, you could put that skinny box, Mom. The, you could put that maybe. I wonder if that would fit vertically on, on the, we could put more though back there. On the side, to, yeah. That might work good right there. You know what I'm saying, guys? That There's this long box here. I'll show you. My mom's taping it up. This has got uh, different paintings and stuff in it. So I'm wondering if that 
can go in there and fit. Look at all this other crap, dude, out here. Man, moving is a pain in the buttocks. It is a pain in the buttocks. But my mom's killing it. Right, mom? My mom is a harder worker than anyone I know, including me. And that's not maybe saying much, but anyways, that's progress. Let's keep going. So, might be too small, but push it back. Push it back. We have changed things around so many times, guys, but it's happening. I'm telling you. Whew. It might be. Yes! <laughs> My mom ripped ass on camera. My mom just said she thought she farted when she was over here and didn't realize I was filming, so. <laughs> First part of the back side, I think we finally finished. That took a lot more fixing up than we thought, but we got pretty much everything that we wanted in here. We got like our first row, the mattress, our first row of boxes on top of uh, the entertainment stand. This is the, uh, this was a table we were taking that we still liked. Got the TV up against it. Uh, so this is, this is pretty solid here. A good start looking about how much more space we have to try to get everything else. It's going to be tight. We're hoping to bring home as much stuff as possible, but look how, look how tall I am in this thing. I can't even stand up straight, <laughs> but progress nonetheless. I'm not done and I'm tired. Send help. This is where we're at right now. Uh, we're getting there. We had the lights on because it's now late. This is an all day project. We have one more room that I gotta break down which is my stream room slash filming room. And uh, this light is so bright. Oh my God, it kinda looks cool. So we're gonna go break down that room now. And Tom's finishing cleaning up his stuff but we are getting close. Not there yet, but almost. So if you have thought about moving, this is what it entails. So good luck. <laughs> Here's the updates. Uh, all of this stuff is pretty much, you know, gone. Still finishing up some stuff. Tom's being a good helper and a, and a cute one. Um, still not there yet, a lot closer. I don't think we're gonna be completely done by tonight, but I think we're getting close to the end. Ma, how you hanging in? Barely. Let's get it done. All right, guys, it is now 10 o'clock and uh, the place is looking pretty empty we're not there yet but mom how you doing good I'm doing good Tom how you feeling Bad. why <laughs> I know it's okay here hand hug oh wow <laughs> that was an intense <laughs> hand hug <laughs> thanks dude um, so we are about done for the night, honestly. We were hoping to maybe have everything done in the morning to leave uh, when we wake up, but we just were not able to. I did finish, we have the lights out in here, breaking down my whole desk, office place. Um, the garage is almost completely empty. I wouldn't be able really to show you guys outside the truck because it's like super dark outside already and um, it's shut for the night, so. I think we're just gonna kinda get things a little bit in order tonight. Uh, a few things straightened up inside the house and make sure we're good there. And then in the morning, um, we're gonna finish packing up the last few things and then clean up some. We just went and talked to our landlords. It was very sad because we were very close with them. So, um, you know, we're very, very lucky in that standpoint that we had a really cool relationship. That's gonna wrap up the very tedious, hard working part of the move. We got a few last things to do before we get on the road tomorrow which you guys will see in the next video, um, you know, finishing up final touches and then on the road, which will be partially painful because we're gonna be in a U-Haul driving across the country. Also kind of cool to see the country or at least see places I've never been. 
Um, it's nice to be driving with my mom across, you know, and not just being by myself. And But with the U-Haul, it'll be something. But I'm sure we're going to see a lot of cool things and have a lot of fun, or at least try to along the way. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being so supportive of the move and everything I've been doing and the changes I've been making in my YouTube life, my work life. And in my personal life, obviously, it does mean a lot. And I thought it would be cool to show you guys a glimpse of what all this process looked like. And yeah, so, but thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoy more vlog type content. And let me know if you've ever moved or had to deal with this kind of craziness uh, recently in your life in the comments box down below. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, keep it real, banana peels. Bye!